With the Midsummer Potluck event, of course, comes a new Matham chest, the Midsummer Potluck special, and along with the chest came a bunch of deals on Matham coins, and since I'm the type of person who generally likes to invest when I can get coins for around a dollar a pop, I now find myself with 100 coins and figured I should just go ahead and crack open some of these chests. If you want to see whether or not I get lucky, stay tuned. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who are wondering how exactly this chest works, you have an option to pick from a set of Tier 2 Commanders. You will be guaranteed to get three of their respect items every 10 chests. I went ahead and chose Aragorn slash Denethor because I really want to take my Denethor to respect 10. Obviously, that is a bad joke. I want the Aragorn respect items because Denethor is terrible. As far as the commanders that are in this chest, I'll go ahead and pull up a list. That way you guys can decide if it's going to drop the items you want. Actually, I'm going to pull up this invitation list since the respect items are always the same as the invitation list. We have Gandalf the White, Thranduil, King of the Dead, Dane, Gladriel, Elrond, Gilgalad, King of Men and Radagast the Brown. So pretty much all of the old school tier three commanders. And the same is true as far as the tier two commanders. Please note that commanders such as Falgan and Isildur are not in this chest. Uh, Seer Dan is also not here. And I think Celeborn is also missing as far as the tier two commanders go. You are able to click this information for yourself in case I went over it too quickly. You just click the question on the drop rate. And with that out of the way, we will go ahead and start opening chests in packs of five. I have disabled the animation because I don't think anybody wants to see me go through the animation like 20 times. So as always, I'll try. Wait, I swear I had disable the chest animation, except now it is enabling the chest animation. Maybe I turned it on on accident. So I got one respect item for Gimli or Balin. We got fireworks and some recipe stuff. Oh, I thought that's actually kind of goofy UI thing. I thought by clicking this, it would turn on to disable the chest opening animation. Apparently that was enabling it. So I apologize for that. Next chest, we get a respect item and a bunch of other nonsense plus the three freebies, a gold. We got a Sindar Garland. Unfortunately, I have little to no interest in Thranduil, so I'll probably be selling that off. Haste of Soldiers, Hobbit Fiddle. Honestly, I think Hobbit Fiddle is not a very good accessory, so I will almost certainly be using that to upgrade something else. We got an invite. <laughs> of course, I get the Denethor invite. Amazing. Well, I guess I have a new Pather and Tile Flipper. Because I'm uh, not really wanting to use that guy. Another Hobbit Fiddle with Haste of Soldiers. More upgrade bait. We have one respect item for Theoden and Aomer. I might actually take my Theoden to respect five after all this time. A gold. Kenya score for Galadriel. I do have her at R5. I don't know if I want to push her higher than that. But I'll probably hang on to that until I make a final decision. As I have quite enjoyed using her if i'm being honest Mergwood bow sharpshooter so i want to point out that this only applies to the tier 2 elven archer the marksman i actually think this is one of the few unit specific buffs that might actually be okay i think ranged might is probably better but if you're using uh gilgalad maybe and you don't have a ranged might bow this might be worth using in the interim until you can get a ranged might bow. Another gold, Royal Banner of Elendil for King of Men. My King of Men is respect three now. I don't know if I'm going to take him higher than that. A sustain pipe. Sustain pipes are always amazing. In my opinion, you should never uh, break down any worn out smoking pipes. You should use them to upgrade other worn out smoking pipes with sustain. Prophetic excerpt for a King of the Dead. I do kind of want to take him to respect three. So I think that I will be hanging on to that. Another thing for Gimli and Balin, who I am not using. 
That chest was a bit of a letdown, if I'm being honest. I have gotten a few Gandalf's respect items. Maybe he'll get closer to... Oh, a Windlord Feather. Maybe he'll get closer to the next respect level. I have a Conspiracy Theory. I guess not a Conspiracy Theory. More of... Oh, a double gold. Oh, Iron Bassinet. I want to start using Thorin. So Iron Bassinet is actually a pretty reasonable pull. Fortitude of Dwarves as well. It's actually perfect for him. So that's a nice item. Um, I have a, a Hot Take. And that hot take is that Radagast is super underrated. So I actually kind of want to start using him. A haste pipe. That's definitely just going to be used to upgrade a sustained pipe. Finally, one item of Elro here's One respect item for Elro here. So I'm pretty sure. And can somebody in the comments please let me know. Has anybody ever seen strong rope in the Matham exchange. I'm like 99% sure that it just never shows up in the exchange, which is disheartening. I really wanted to use Elro here, but respecting him up is like impossible. White robe cloth. That's one more item towards Gandalf the white. I think I only need like three or four more of these now. I've been hanging on to them because I may want to get him and take him to respect five. But I haven't made up my mind. Double invite. Oh, I got the Aragorn invite. Yo. I actually wanted this one. I finally, after all these seasons and all these chests, got the Aragorn invite. Plus, I'm getting his items. And we have five more to go. Another Mirkwood bow. Sharpshooter, same thing. I do have a ranged white bow, so honestly, I'm just going to be using that. Another gold, another Windlord feather. I feel like I've actually gotten reasonably lucky. 10 Matham vouchers as well. 15 total, 10 out of 5. That's not bad. Not too bad. Another kind of a dud pack. I'm going to have so many cooking items after this, though. Just suppose that's not a bad thing. Elven Dirk. At least this is a ranged might Dirk. I do think that Elven Dirk is probably the worst purple weapon in the game because it doesn't give any attack and the army speed is not all that exciting to me. Like I'd much rather have a Mirkwood bow if I'm going to be running elves because running elves means most likely you're running two ranged units. I guess if you run like heralds and um, keepers, maybe this is fine. But even then, you'd rather have like an elven white knife. Another gold, another prophetic excerpt. I might be able to take King of the Dead to Respect 3 pretty soon. I have an interesting build idea for him at Respect 3. With these new XP requirements, I don't know if I'll ever get around to actually being able to try it. But Mend Firework, not a bad option on the fireworks. Although with how many Gilgalads there are out there these days, I tend to prefer Hunter's Mark for that pursuit. All right, that was all of the chests. Let me know what you guys think. Actually, let me check before I before I go. Let me actually check on Aragorn's respect. So he's R9. And can I take him to R10 off of this? I actually could. I really need to consider taking him to R10. I'll think about that off of the video. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys thought I got lucky or unlucky. Personally, I think I got pretty lucky with those chests. Catch you in the next one. Phoenix, over and out.